If you are wasting time trying to figure out what to do with your time or feeling guilty for spending time on something when you really know you should be spending time on something else and you just are a little bit confused and stuck and sick of these negative feelings, watch this quick video. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Benjamin Ritter. We provide leadership coaching that puts your career first. So if you are a leader that feels stuck and are ready for something new in your career, send us a message. We read and respond to everyone. So let's define that career vision. Let's set a path forwards, let's develop your executive presence, and let's turn that into meaningful work. So oftentimes, if you are wondering what to do, sitting there and maybe even going somewhere and feeling bad about spending time with your friends or at dinner or somewhere else when you feel like you should be working or working and feeling bad about not being with friends, generally there are two issues that are ongoing. Uh, one, you're not really sure what you're working towards, and so you don't really have a very clear vision and goals for different areas of your life. If this is the case, then I'm sorry, there's no, like, it's a simple answer, but it's not easy. You need to go and define what those big buckets are for yourself. And so generally we can align them to our values to ensure that the things that we're investing in feel correct and bring us fulfillment. But if we don't have a vision, if we don't have a path forwards, if we haven't built an environment around ourselves that serves us, then generally we're going to be stuck. We're going to feel like we're in a fog and we're going to feel bad about our decisions. The, the second big thing that tends to happen is people don't have like measurable goals based on those visions. So for example, you want to grow a business, but you don't know what like actions, like what actually you should be spending your time on to create certain outcomes that you want, like a certain revenue or certain sales calls, a certain number of clients. Or with work, you know you should be working really hard and you want a promotion, you want to make more money, but you're not sure what actually you need to do. Same thing with socializing and friends. You know you want to make more friends, you know you want to strengthen relationships, but you're not sure who actually you want to invest in and build those relationships with. So maybe you have the vision, but you don't actually know what's needed to get to that vision. And so these two different things, like for example, if you don't know what what will result in a payoff, you're gonna think you're gonna think you need to do everything. When, like for example, I'm trying to learn Spanish, if I know that 30 minutes a day is all I need, or 15 minutes a day is all I need, or watching you know a video of Spanish is all I need, it's gonna change where I invest my time and what I think I need to do with my time. Like, can I go to dinner because I'm gonna do like Duolingo in the car to dinner or whatever it is? So knowing what you want to achieve and knowing what to do to achieve it, very simple, but not easy, are the things that you truly need to define to understand where you should be spending your time. So those are some pretty big tasks, a lot of homework. Again, simple, not easy. But if you are stuck with feeling guilty or stressed about where to spend your time, you need to focus on those two big pillars, your vision, and then what are the actions that lead to measurable outcomes to help you work, like really achieve and make progress towards that vision. Because then you can start making some trade-offs. You could say, well, I'm going to go to dinner tonight because I've done the one thing that's most important today for making progress towards my goals. So I hope this helps out. I hope you take something away. I hope it causes reflection, honestly, and some more homework because that's what is needed to continue growing is intentional work towards who you want to be and how you can live more for yourself. Thanks, everyone.